This next video on the Sagan Freestat Plus box will cover the topics of how to record and playback um, channels. Now, it, what's on this, the facilities that are on this box, very, very impressive, works extremely well, as good as anything Sky have come out with, and far better than anything that's in the, in the generic free to air market, okay? The, the basic buttons we'll be using here will be the, um, the list button here for playing back uh, channels, and the record button here, the information button, and also the guide button, okay? So, what I'm going to do here is uh, I'm just going to press the information button here and I'll see that I'm on BBC One and I'm recording cash in the attic, okay? So what I'm going to do at this particular point in time is I'll simply exit out and I'll hit the record button here now and it tells me this program is going to end at quarter past uh, 12, okay? So what I'm doing is, um, if I just want to verify that I am actually recording this, I can do it in one of two ways. I can look here and see REC written here, so we know we're recording that particular channel. And then the next thing here is I can actually hit the information button and you can see that we're recording BBC One, okay? So we simply exit out there and I'll just simply flick to another channel. So we're going to BBC Two here now. So I say to myself, oh, BBC Two looks a bit boring. So I'll go on to, we'll say, something like a Channel Four, which is on 104 here. So I see Mr. Gaddafi here and I said, I'd like to listen to his speeches later on because he's such an interesting man. So I'll press the record button here again and now when I hit the information button, we can see we're recording two different channels, 104 and 101, both at the same time, both onto the hard drive. So we can record these and look at uh, them, but if we try to go to a different channel now, it'll tell me. Sorry, I'll just exit out there and try to change channels and it'll tell me you can't do this because we're recording two different things at the one time, okay? So just exit there. So th that's a limit to it, but that's reasonable enough. There's two feeds in it so you can record two different things at the one time. So just say I come along and I decided I'd like to actually uh, stop the recording on it. Um, you can actually come along and just hit the stop button as I've done there now. Do you really want to stop recording? And I'll press OK. So now we hit the information button. I'll see it's recording there. If I can go, um, I could actually come along here and use the EPG button and press, and I'll go to the all channels here, and I'll see that currently I'm recording cash in the attic, which I might decide. After all, it's not as exciting as I thought it was. And I can just hit the record button here again. Do you really want to stop it? And I'll say, okay. And now I'm recording nothing, okay? So we just exit out here, and then I'm wondering, well, did I really record any of this stuff successfully onto my hard drive? And this is where we hit the list button. We press the list button here, and we can come along here, and we can see um, the, the various my various efforts here to record. And if I wanted to play this, I'd simply press OK, and we see Mr. Gaddafi is indeed has been successfully recorded. Okay, and the stop from there, I would actually go and hit stop, right? Uh, and I'll just exit out. Now I'm going to show one interesting thing here that we have in relation to the EPG button. And um, if we come along here and we go into all channels and I come and I find out the politics, uh, oh, we'll say cash in the attic here, and I come along and I press record on it, the market for recording, it'll ask me this episode only, or all episodes, and if I click on all episodes, it's effectively serious link, it'll pull it up for me there, okay? So that's it. Now, one final uh, thing, uh, so you can see here that there's, you know, the functionality on it's great, really is super, it works really well. If, we, if it really gets tied up in a knot, you always have the option of just going and factory setting it, and within a few minutes you're back to where you were um, in scratch. Factory set will allow you to both reformat the, the software on the box, and uh, back with original settings, and also it'll allow you to reformat the hard drive if you wanted it. But in general, this stuff works extremely well, uh, and you can see they're very, very convenient, uh, and very, very similar to what you people who might have got used to a Sky Plus HD box.